All right, let's go ahead and get started. Today we're going to be doing lecture 20, which is slope intercept form. So go ahead and take out a sheet of paper and follow along with me. So last week we talked about how to write a line, what it looks like, and the different ways that you can write the line. So we talked about the first way, which is standard form. I'll remind you what that looks like. Standard form is the first one that we learned. It is AX plus BY is equal to C. As usual, X and Y are gonna be variables and A, B and C are all capital letters, but they all stand for numbers. And specifically, they're all gonna be whole numbers and A and B can't both be zero. Today, we're gonna to be looking a little bit closer at the next way we can write a line, which is slope intercept form. So let's write this one down. Okay, so slope intercept form is Y equals MX plus B. X and Y are gonna be variables. M is gonna be the slope of the line and B is gonna be its Y intercept. So X and Y are gonna be variables, but M and B are just gonna be numbers. They can be whole numbers or fractions or any real number at all. It, it doesn't actually matter. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be starting off in standard form and we're going to be working our way to slope intercept form. Now, last week we went the opposite way, right? We started in slope intercept form and we converted that to standard form. Well, today we're going to go the opposite way. We're going to start in standard form and end up in slope intercept form. And if you graph the equations, you can actually check your answers. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But these are the two forms of the lines that we're gonna be talking about today, standard form and slope intercept form. Okay, so let's try number one. 2x plus y equals negative 1. So this line is already in standard form. Standard form. And we can tell because x and y are on the same side. it's got that AX plus BY equals C form to it. But what I wanna do is I wanna take this equation and I wanna put it in slope intercept form, which is Y equals MX plus B. That would be slope intercept form. Okay. So to do this, what I have to do is I need to get Y by itself. I need to isolate the Y on the left-hand side. Right, I'm gonna subtract two X. And that's because I wanna get rid of the two X on this side. It's already a positive two X. So I'm gonna subtract two X from both sides. So when I do that, the two X's on the left side are gonna cancel out because what is two X minus two X? Zero. Zero X, also known as zero. So the two X's are gonna cancel out. So the only thing that's gonna be left on this side is gonna be the Y. 
I'm just going to bring that down. And I'm also going to bring down the equal sign right next to it. So now on the right hand side, everything else is going to show up. I'm going to have the negative 2x. I usually write that first. And then the minus one is just going to go right beside of it. And then I'm done. So that is slope intercept form. Now, what is this? What is the slope of this line? Negative two. Right. And then what is the y intercept? Negative one. So you can always tell the slope of this because it's always going to be in front of the x. Always. No, you only need to write the equation. Y equals mx plus b. If we were solving an equation for x, then we would need a solution set. But we're not doing that. So what we're doing is we're going from standard form to slope intercept form. Let's try the next one. Okay, so number two says 10x minus y is equal to positive six. So this is in standard form already. And you can tell because X and Y are on the same side. But what I want to do is I want to put it in slope intercept form. Y equals MX plus B. So that means I've got to get Y by itself on the left side. So the first thing I need to do is I need to get rid of this 10 X right here. I can get rid of the 10x by subtracting it from both sides. So I'm going to subtract the 10x from both sides. The good thing about that is, well, we're going to get to that, but the 10x's are going to cancel out first. And that's only going to leave me with a negative y on this side. Now on the other side, I can't get a negative four because this 10 has an X beside it, but this six does not have an X beside it. So I can't combine them like that. I can only write this as negative 10 X plus six. Right. The last thing that I need to get rid of is this negative that's out in front. And I can do that in two ways. I can divide both sides by negative one, or I can multiply both sides by negative one. And usually what I do is I always divide by negative one, but either way, you're gonna get the same answer. So I need to divide both sides by negative one. Notice that I put the negative one below both of the terms, negative 10x and the positive six. So what's going to happen on the left side, we're going to bring down the Y because the negatives are going to cancel out. On the right side, I've got a negative 10 X divided by a negative one. That's going to give me a positive 10 X. And then what's positive six divided by negative one? Negative six. And I'm done. It is now in slope intercept form. So what is the slope of this line? And then and the y intercept is negative six. Yep. This is going to be m, the slope. And this is going to be b also known as the y-intercept. That's where it's gonna cross the y-axis. 
Okay, we're gonna do one more together. Number three. Three says seven X minus 15 Y is equal to 11, positive 11. So right now it's in standard form because X and Y are on the same side, but I want to get Y by itself. So that way it'll be in slope intercept form. So I'm going to say this is in standard form as it is. Okay. So to get Y by itself, I need to get rid of two things, the seven X and the negative 15. Right. So how can I get rid of a seven X subtract it from both sides? Yep. So now the seven X and the minus seven X are gonna cancel out to give me zero. So I'm only left with a negative 15 Y on this side. On the other side, I'm gonna have negative seven X. I usually put the X term first and then I'm gonna have a positive 11 right next to it. So now the last thing I need to do is get rid of the negative 15 that's out in front. Since I'm multiplying by it, I need to divide both sides by negative 15. So we're gonna divide both sides by negative 15 and I'm gonna do it under every single term over here on this side. So not only am I dividing the negative seven X by the negative 15, I'm also dividing the 11 by negative 15. Now, this isn't gonna give me any whole numbers, unfortunately. I'm gonna to have to leave my answer as a fraction, but the negative 15s are gonna cancel out, leaving me with just a Y. That's what I wanted in the first place. I have a negative seven divided by a negative 15. I can't reduce that fraction down any, but the negatives are gonna cancel out so I'm left with a positive seven over 15 times X. And then over here, I've got 11 divided by negative 15. That's gonna be minus 11 over 15. No way I can reduce that down anymore, so I'm done. So this is now in slope intercept form.